Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Shoot. I was hoping David could get a job on a container ship. To Japan. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Haven't really felt like sitting down to eat since David started having dinner here. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Made that for mom in an art class when I was, like, five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. Joyce Price, AKA Mom. She looks as beat as I feel. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner type food. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. I was sleeping. I didn't get your text until just now. Oh, you make it so hard to trust you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me, and just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you? Saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled. And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. 
I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Never again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Your boyfriend's an asshole! He's been good for me. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because you've been rude. He's still breathing. That means I've been more than fair. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly, Chloe, and- if your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. That's enough. All I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. I can't take any more arguing today. Go give David his keys. I made that for my mom. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not part... hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. Mom should date literally anyone else. 
Wait, isn't that a socket wrench right there? You deaf or just lazy? You said you needed your socket wrench. That's the 5 8 inch. I need the 13 16 inch extension, which is in the set, which is in the garage, like I said. Unbelievable. Whatever. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, fuck you. Nah, school's hardly worth walking to. Does Max picture me pathetically checking this mailbox every two seconds for letters that never come? No love for Chloe. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? This used to hang in the living room. Guess it's ancient history now. Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. By toolbox, did David mean this, or did he mean himself? Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Got it. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. How you do anything is how you do everything. Now I need a shower. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. 
Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Then I hope you're a better plumber than you are a mechanic. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. Leave mom out of this. This is about you and me and you being an asshole. I was in the army. You will respect me. You're not my father. You're not even on the same planet as my father. My job is to make sure you and your mother have a safe and peaceful home. Do I come to your place of employment and... Oh, that's right. You don't have one. If you were a man, I... It's cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished.